conference in Sicily. So for those that don't know, I'm currently a first year PhD student at the University of Portsmouth and I'm researching uh, gravitational waves and how machine learning specifically can be used in gravitational wave data analysis. And so, um, yeah, I'm going to a machine learning conference in Sicily. So I'm going to be recording and showing you what it's like to be going to a conference and I hope you really enjoy. Villa Bellini. I'm currently on a tour around Catania. It is stunning. It's also really hot so it's apologies if I keep um, putting my glasses back because it, I'm just, it's so hot. Anyway, it's lovely. Um, I haven't been vlogging because I've been on two tours. I went up on a boat, sailing boat tour, which was really lovely. And um, I also went on a Mount Etna tour yesterday. That was really, really, really lovely. I met a lovely uh, tour guide, shout out to Isabella, um, who was amazing at telling us what is currently going on with the volcano here in Sicily. Yeah, I'm currently going around Catania with another Isabella, shout out to her. Went to that conference. Conference is on Monday, and this is one of the benefits, I think, of going to a conference abroad. I have been allowed to go on holiday before, and then the conference starts on Monday. So um, this is one of the luxuries of academia is you can take holidays either side of your conferences and just see amazing places. I've got less than one day until the conference that starts tomorrow. So I'm super looking forward to it, but also very nervous, but it should be really good. Yeah, I realized that some of you may not even know what machine learning is and neither did I until like six months ago. So don't panic. Basically machine learning is getting the computer to learn the pattern and the relationships and the underlying functions and data which sounds highly complicated but let's try a food analogy and as you all know i love food half of my random questions to vary our guests have been food related and yeah anyone who knows me knows i flip and love some good food which is why i'm really enjoying myself in sicily because they've got amazing food anyway so basically in traditional programming you give the computer the recipe so you say do this do that do this and then you get an output. However, in machine learning, you give the computer the ingredients. So you say, here are the ingredients, I know, some chicken, um, vegetables, and you come up with a recipe that fits some aims. So aims that it tastes good, that it um, is healthy. And so the computer will try and cook all these ingredients multiple times to come up with the best recipe that tastes good and that is healthy and hopefully that gives you a brief flavor going with the food analogy <laughs> um of what it is um but there are just different types of machine learning so you've got like unsupervised supervised in their names basically supervised is where you watch the machine learning and make sure it's learning correctly whereas unsupervised you just basically say here's some data you learn it yourself and learn the patterns and see what it comes out with <laughs> This is me going to the conference. Very nervous, actually, very nervous. Um, I even woke up an hour and a half early and I still didn't make it on time for some reason. Oh well. Um, thankfully, I'm not gonna be my, by myself. I've got Jamie, so shout out to Jamie. There's Jamie. Say hello, Jamie. <laughs> physics and how machine learning is being applied in stellar physics so that's basically stars how stars evolved can i just say i flip in love this bathroom look how many mirrors there are so amazing hello we've just finished 
the um, second session, which has been really insightful and really good. We had the two guest speakers this time, and they, the first one especially was really good. So the first one definitely was very entertaining and really interesting, giving you insight into what um, machine learning is. Whereas the second one was really good because he introduced me to a lot of stuff that I hadn't come across before. So a lot of machine learning techniques, which I'm not aware of, which now hopefully I can go away and look at. So it's been really good so far, but I'll keep it posted. And yeah, this may be my new um, place where I film is the bathroom. It's a flipping nice bathroom though. Um, so it'll be bathroom chat. <laughs> Hello, I've just had day one of my machine learning conference, which has been really interesting. I've learned lots. I've been making some notes on this lovely paper. I've been learning, so I'm actually mistaken. There's unsupervised learning, supervised learning, and even reinforcement learning, which is something I didn't even know. So I've been learning um, something today. I've also been learning about, you know, how in machine learning, we've got to be so careful because we put in data and our data can be biased and therefore our model is also biased. And also I've just been learning about different types of machine learning techniques, such as um, recurrent neural networks, convolutional neural networks, generative, adversarial neural networks work in transformers if i said that all right i really would be happy but i really don't think i have <laughs> what is that i can't even read my own handwriting okay i've made really bad notes then oh well but yeah it's been really good hello i've just left my accommodation we're starting day two um which is really exciting and what am i most looking forward to Oh, someone's left the door open for me. That's amazing. Um, I'm most looking forward to, I think, the more variety of talks and also meeting people. God, this door is so heavy. So yeah, meeting new people, um, getting a vibe of what they're doing in astrophysics and how they're using machine learning, um, get some ideas as well. Um, yeah, should be a good day. Any advice going to Sicily and any of these islands, every time you cross the road, you take the life in your own hands. You just cross um, and the traffic have to stop. So that's my tip for Sicily. I can't believe how hot it is and it is only 8.50. Sorry, I had to work out the time there. Nowhere. I don't know if we go in the main entrance or not. Oh well, I don't think we do. Ah, found the actual entrance. Here we go. Let's start. I think people think I'm going a bit crazy, but oh wow. Well, we've just had the end of the first session and it was really interesting. We were looking at anomaly detection, getting machines to detect um, anomalies in our data with the hope of finding new science, which I thought was so cool. So, you know, Jocelyn Bell um, discovered pulsars in like 1900s and she just, and the reason she discovered it is because she discovered an anomaly. I can't even say, I knew this was going to be a challenge. Anyways, a difference in her data that was going, uh, was weird. And um, basically they've been doing the exact same thing with machine learning, getting machines to find discrepancies in the data. And when it does, it hopefully leads to new science, which is really cool. Um, so yeah, the talk, the guest speaker was amazing. Um, she talked about one that they had looked at this galaxy or the computer threw up a galaxy and they basically still to this day don't understand the science behind the galaxy and it was missed by humans as well so they had gone humans had gone through the uh, data and hadn't seen this galaxy so i just think it's so cool when humans and computers actually work and complement each other anyway i'll keep you informed this is again <laughs> bathroom checks i uh, need to go i've got to go in like five minutes but anyway see you later hello i'm here with alexandra <laughs> and Yako. Um, there's some of the amazing people I've met. So um, we'll start with Alessandro. Um, can you tell us a bit about what you're researching, please? Uh, well, hi, everyone. 
Uh, well, I um, study at the University of Milan. I study protoplanetary disks and uh, plant formation. So, Amazing. And could yeah. you tell me what a plot was it a proto protoplanetary disk? That's it. What is that? Yeah, uh, it's a structure that forms uh, during uh, uh, the star formation process. Uh, and uh, so during when the star uh, forms uh, uh, and accretes mass from uh, the surrounding, uh, uh, mainly because of uh, angular momentum conservation, it forms this uh, disk. And inside it, uh, uh, plant formation happens. And uh, so when the plant form, uh, it interacts uh, with uh, the disk and uh, forms some sub substructures. And uh, from the morphologies of uh, these uh, substructures, uh, I am trying to understand and uh, uh, infer properties of the planets uh, using machine learning techniques. That is amazing. Yako, hello. Where are you from? And can you tell me a bit about your research, please? I work um, at Trinity College Dublin, um, and I work on uh, supernova type 1a, which are exploding white dwarfs which are mainly used to measure uh, distances to other galaxies since supernovae are about the brightest uh, events in the universe. And I'm looking for a very specific, very rare type of interaction in these uh, one type 1a supernovae. And I'm thinking of applying machine learning uh, techniques to more easily go to large data sets um, to find these very rare events. Yeah. Sounds amazing. Well, there you go. Here are some of the amazing people I've met <laughs> and I'll see you all later. Hello, we've just finished day two of the machine learning conference. And what have I learned today? I have learned about how machine learning can be used to discover new physics, which is really exciting. Um, and also, it was really interesting hearing the variety of talks. There's been a lot of galaxy talks, but there was also some exoplanets, um, some sun and stellar flares. I didn't realize, I heard of solar flares, but I didn't realize or didn't make the connection that actually other stars in our universe can also have flares. So that was really interesting. Um, yeah, I'm very tired now, and but we've got a uh, dinner uh, this evening, and I, actually in half an hour, and I need to go. So I'll see you later, and yeah, enjoy. <laughs>just started day three um, I'm just coming in I've missed some of the morning sessions because I'm not they were all about the square kilometer array at the SKA otherwise known as and um, I don't know it wasn't very interesting and instead I was packing um, and sleeping because I was very tired um, the dinner was really nice that was finished though quite late so um, yeah that was really nice to meet people and again hear about um, different research careers um, yeah, note to self, planetary nebulae or nebula, whatever, is not to do with planet formation. I really put my foot in it that time. Anyway, um, enjoy the laughs. Um, yeah, so I'll see you later. Hello, we've just had the um, afternoon session. Sorry I haven't been vlogging this much today. Um, but yeah, it was really good and I have really enjoyed the gravitational wave session. There was finally a gravitation gravitational wave. Um, bit and that was using citizen science so um, getting the peop uh, scientists and non-scientists engage in classifying images and therefore help in machine learning um, so that was really interesting there was also some fantastic talks on uh, neutrinos and uh, uh, sort of yeah neutrino detection which I thought was really cool um, so it's been a good variety actually um, yeah we've got the poster session next which will be good. Um, Jamie's on it, so um, all the best, Jamie. And yeah, it should be good. See you later. Well, I've just finished the final day of the conference and it has been really good. Um, really enjoyed it. Very good meeting lots of people, so that's been very fun. I just think the variety of talks has been really good. Um, hearing all the gamma ray detection, galaxies, stellar flares, solar. It's just been so good hearing all these. And yeah, my highlight I think is just the variety that there's been here. <laughs>